Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Yes guys, so I'm back with the part 3 of this video. That's how to make a 5x5 five five lace closure. And the moment we've all been waiting for how to actually construct the wig on a sewing machine. So let's jump into this video. All right, guys. So the sewing machine I'm using is Janome sewing machine, and my weight is going to be a six point five why my length is going to be at 4.5 and my tension is at 6 so and I always use zigzag stitches and that's me showing you guys that my sewing machine does come with this lifter presser foot lifted whereby I don't need to use my hand to lift it up I just use my towels while I'm working and the presser foot is just gonna go up and once I release it it goes down and yes so now i'm just taking regular cardboard paper trying out the stitches for you guys to see and when you're sewing you always want to back stitch at least twice tries and at the beginning and also at the end so i'm going to um, do two stitches for you guys the first one is going to be the one i use when i'm sewing the tracks onto the cap and the second one is the one I use when I'm so when I'm doubling my weft. So when I'm doubling my weft, my width is going to be at 5.0 and my length is going to be at 4.5. The tension remains the same, which is 6. So to double your weft, you want to make sure that the weft are parallel to each other. You do not want to place them on top of each other, okay? Make sure they are parallel. And my sewing machine does come with needle lifter. And I just press it down and it takes, it just hook. The needle just hook the uh, weft in place. So when you're starting off, make sure you backstitch. If you have to use your finger to push it for the needle to go through sometimes you should do that so and that's just me showing you guys how you should place your tracks use your fingers to push it to the back just like that you know you don't want to rush things make sure you um you keep all the hair away from the machine you're only working with the weft okay So, yes, and that's just it's all about doubling your weft, okay? And the way that I like to do it, I don't double all my weft as one. I double them as I'm working, like I double one bundle first, so it down, see how things are looking, if there will be need for me to double or if I have to single them, okay? So, that's how I like to work. You do not have to work like that. I'm just telling you how I do my things. So, you see, one thing I'll tell you guys when it comes to this stuff, I can only tell you this is that I do things, and by the time you try, um, you try it, you might even do it better. You just do your own way. All you need is an idea. So you try different things and figure out which one works best for you. So that's my advice. Yes. And that's me showing you guys how neat it is, okay? So if you're just starting off, trust me, this thing can be so frustrating at first. Like, the first time I made a wig, I think I spent like five hours. Like, I was frustrated, I was going to give up. But then again, I remember there's always first time. So I kept going. And look at me today, feeling like a boss. <laughs> Okay guys, so to start sewing your tracks onto your wig, the key to this is not to stretch your cap. Don't do that sis. Do not stretch your cap. 
if you do it's gonna be lumpy and bumpy and we don't want that okay most especially when you're working with straight hair if you're just starting off maybe you should be working with curly hair if it's if it's bumpy then nobody's gonna notice it but you don't want that so i don't want you to do that and the key to that is not to stretch your cap so you're gonna start sewing on the first guideline we have there and you want to backstage if you have to use your hand to push use your hand use your finger to hold the cap in place and start sewing so sewing on a sewing machine so making wig on a sewing machine is like when you're driving a car you go in the direction you um you have your guidelines okay you know how when you're driving on the road of course you have to follow the lane so that's how it works when it comes to sewing machine and constructing a wig so when you get to the end you want to make sure you backstitch at least twice okay twice twice you know you have to backstitch you need to lock the stitches in place and that's me showing you guys how things are looking and we're just gonna keep going just like that okay so and we're going to go ahead to do the same thing on the second guideline so lay lay your cap flat put your i don't know if the sewing machine you have does have um needle lifter put it down if it does and start sewing backstage you know don't stretch your cap place your fingers under the cap to make sure that the cap um nothing is under the cap you know you're not sewing anything under yeah you always have to make sure you check things okay and you backstage backstage then cut your web cut your tracks yes and things are looking nice of course <laughs> so yes i'm just gonna do the same thing you know just pay attention to the way i'm holding the cap the way i'm going turning my hand following the guidelines yes and cuts just like that backstage backstage so like i said my sewing machine does have automatic thread cutter if yours doesn't have it you might need to go with your scissors cut things you do not want to leave thread all over for your client so make sure you cut all the thread So I'm done with the first track. So I went off camera to double the other track. You, you guys don't have to see that again because I showed you before. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to connect the new track to the old one. So when you're connecting another track to the other one, once you sew it um, about 10 centimeter then backstitch it so it's gonna connect to the other one as well okay so i'm just gonna keep going it's just the same thing you know i just i would have fast forward this thing but i just need you guys to see the way i'm holding the cap you know especially as i'm walking my way home because that's the area you really want to be careful with like you really want to be careful you do not want that bumps and lobs at the front because that's going to be noticeable if you do have that at the back maybe it's not going to be noticeable but at the front like you have to be careful says so don't stretch your cap so this is a trick for you guys this was what I used to do when I started. Like I used to kind of sing it in my head like, you're not going to stretch your cap. Don't stretch your cap. Don't stretch your cap. Don't stretch your cap. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, 
I used to do that. I'm not even joking. Like as I'm walking, I'm singing it in my head. Like don't stretch your cap. You're not going to stretch your cap. So yes, don't stretch your cap. Okay. And yes, we are almost done. And if you're in the city and you want to get slayed by me, I'm located somewhere in Mississauga here in Canada. So guys, don't forget to go over to my website to book an appointment with me. Send your wig in, you know. Let me make you a wig. Let me make you a perfect fit wig, okay? And yes, we're almost done, guys. So... We are going to move to the next one, which is to sew the lace closure onto the wig on a sewing machine. But well, guys, I would advise you, if you're a beginner, I think you should take the wig back to the mannequin head once you're done with, you know, with sewing your tracks onto the wig and sew the wig with needle and thread, okay? Because as a beginner, that thing is going to be difficult for you to do but if you're able to do it and you're a beginner kudos to you sis so i have very little track left and i know i will need to sew one more as you can as you guys can see the way they construct the closure there is a little bit um space and if i leave that space like that it's not gonna look nice so i need to sew Okay, around that side so to start sewing your closure onto the cap make sure you don't place the cap um the lace directly onto the cap you want to leave few like five centimeter before you start sewing if you can remember how we constructed i mean how we drew our guideline how we place the closure when we're going to draw our guideline so that's the same way you want to sew and that's me going on that the one of the reason why i like to go on that is to ensure there is nothing on that where i'm sewing because when i started i've had to sew here on that and it was a total mess so you always want to go in to check that there is nothing on that where you're sewing apart from the tracks you're sewing at the moment so you backstage three times and yes we're done you see the space i'm talking about so i'm going to sew the little track i have it's not doubled so yes i'm gonna sew it around there as well And guys, if you haven't seen the part one and part two of this video, the part one is how to bleach the knot and how to tint the lace. Why the part two is how to transfer your head measurements onto the wig cap and how to adjust the cap as well. Make sure you check that those videos out, okay? Yes. And we're almost done. Look at it almost done and that's all i have left and i gave it to my client so i told her to go bleach it and she can use it to add highlights whenever she feels like yes So, so right now I'm going to, for extra security, I like to sew elastic band for my client. Some says they don't want, 
but some do want so yes yeah, she wants so i'm gonna go ahead to sew the elastic band and you see the space sorry at this point my ring light was bad so to sew that i just opened up like the second to the last track and i'm just gonna sew using zigzag metal zigzag stitches rather yeah and i'm out backstage and that's it so i'm going to go ahead to do the same thing on the other side And yes, we're done. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach the wig comb. And to attach the wig comb, you do not want to use zigzag. You want to use straight stitches. If you use zigzag, it's just going to touch the iron right there. And guess what's going to happen? Your needle is going to break. So use your straight stitches to do that. So it was the next morning right now so i went ahead to cut the cap i mean that side of the cap so to do that you want to place your fingers in between the cap and the lace and you start cutting and you have to be careful not to cut your lace you do not want to ruin your lace and that's just me showing you guys the band and the elastic i mean the elastic band and the comb as well so you're just you're gonna use your tip paint to keep the wig in place on the mannequin here and you're also gonna use that where you have the lace as well so she's center part and i'm going to go ahead to pat her and using my hot comb to slick so before i start plucking and i learned this from Chrissy bell okay i told you guys i paid for are you learning so i always go in with my hot comb to comb the hair to see how things are looking before i start plucking okay and to pluck your um closure of course you need a tweezer a good tweezer i know they always say you don't have to spend a lot of money to buy tweezer but trust me i've been using tweezer man and it's the best tweezer i ever had like it's very precise so i love it that's what i'm using you don't have to use that you can buy any one from um your beauty supply just ask for any good one well since if you can buy tweezer man yes please go ahead and buy it it's just gonna make your life easier your styling easier okay so to start plucking you want to make sure you get a spray bottle water close to you because this process requires the hair to be wet so you're just gonna start picking the hair you're gonna start behind the hairline so you're going to make sure you pat your baby hair out first okay so um behind the baby hair is where your new hairline is gonna start and to start plucking you want to start plucking behind the hairline you do not want to pluck right on the spot that's just gonna create holes so don't do that and i like to i like to go in with my hot comb as i'm working to see how things are looking then i'm going to wet the hair as well you know and yes 
So when you're plucking, it might look like you're not doing anything, but make sure you, as you're plucking, you're combing the hair, you know, getting out the plucked ones so you can better see things. And you see, I'm using hot comb as well. So you see the way I'm patting it, I'm just trying to create a very unnoticeable widow's peak. So I'm not touching that um, area, that front area, as you guys can see. I'm just going by the side. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense. But like I always say, just watch what I'm doing. It's better that way. So you see? And it's just going to be looking like you're not doing anything. But no, sis, you're doing something. You're doing well. You're doing well, sis. Yes. <laughs> so, guys, I'm just laying on my bed. It's like 12 p.m. So, yes. You're just going to be plucking randomly. Make sure you don't pluck one spot twice except after coming and you think you need to pluck okay so you have to be careful don't go too heavy just go very light especially when the hair is thin if the hair is really dense then you want to go heavy but of course not at the front most hair at the front are not so dense you know they're usually thin it's just like the back area that are very very dense so you might be heavy if you're plucking all the way to the back depending on how things are looking so yes you just keep plucking keep looking at things how things are looking until you're satisfied you're able to mimic your own hairline or your client's hairline and you guys can tell the difference right see the plucked side and the unplugged side so i'm just gonna go ahead to do the same thing on the other side and i'm going to speed that up you know just pretty much repetition of what i did on the other side okay So at this point I was done, I went in with my dryer, my blow dryer, blow dry the hair, use it to protect her to spray the hair and straighten her out and cut out the baby hair. If you guys want to see a video of how to do your baby hair, I do have a tutorial on that. So yes guys, so to flatten my closure, I went in with my wax stick lotter body and of course hot comb and if you do want your own hot comb and wastic don't forget to head over to my website it's www.madamtitcollection.com now if you stayed up till this time you're the real 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 family thank you guys so much for all your love i'm so grateful to my 93 subscribers like i love you guys so much i know one day we'll be celebrating one million family yes guys and i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one okay bye